Hermann Julius Hofel Prahn. Also Hans Hermann Hofel was an Austrian-born SS commander and Holocaust perpetrator during the Nazi era. He was deputy to Odilo Globochnik in the Aksion Reinhard program, serving as his main deportation and extermination expert. Arrested in 1961 in connection with these crimes, Hofel committed suicide in prison before he could be tried. Born in Salzburg, Austria, Hofel joined the NSDAP on August 1, 1933, with party number 307,469. He joined the SS at the same time. Before the war, he worked as an auto mechanic. After the conquest of Poland, Hofel served in Novi SACZ in southern Poland. In November 1940 he served as an overseer of a Jewish labor camp southeast of Lublin. Up to December 1941 Hofel was in Mogilyov. He was involved in deportations to the camps of Belzec, Sobibor, and Treblinka. He lived and worked from the Aksion Reinhard headquarters with the Julius Schreck barracks, Oslandstrasse, in Lublin. Hofel was coordinator of Operation Reinhard and chief of staff to Odilo Globochnik, serving as his main deportation and extermination expert. Alongside Christian Wirth, Hofel had chief authority of Operation Reinhard beside Globochnik. At the beginning of the operation, he held the rank of Hauptsturmführer. SS members, including those from Action T4 who were assigned to the operation, reported to the headquarters in Lublin and were instructed to their duties by Hofel. For an example of the limited paperwork, every member of Operation Reinhard signed the following declaration of secrecy, I have been thoroughly informed and instructed by SS Hauptsturmführer Hofel. As commander of the main department of Einsatz Reinhardt of the SS and police leader in the district of Lublin, 1. That I may not under any circumstances pass on any form of information, verbally or in writing, on the progress, procedure or incidents in the evacuation of Jews to any person outside the circle of Einsatz Reinhardt staff, 2. That the process of the evacuation of Jews is a subject that comes under secret Reich document, in accordance with censorship regulation Verschel v. A. 4. That there is an absolute prohibition on photography in the camps of Einsatz Reinhardt. I am familiar with the above regulations and laws and am aware of the responsibilities imposed upon me by the task with which I have been entrusted. I promise to observe them to the best of my knowledge and conscience. I am aware that the obligation to maintain secrecy continues even after I have left the service. From, Yitzhak Arad, Belzec, Sobibor, Treblinka. Photocopy of personal documents of Hermann Hofel from his personal file, Berlin Document Center as head of the main department, Hofel was in charge of the organization and manpower of Operation Reinhardt. He coordinated the deportations of Jews from all areas of the general government and directed them to one of the extermination camps. The deportation orders were coordinated and channeled through SS authorities from Hofel's office for the Lublin Reservation, through the district SS and police leaders, down to the localities where the expulsions were to take place. Around May 1942 in the general government, a substitution policy developed for a short time in which Polish workers who were sent to the German Reich were gradually replaced with Jewish laborers. It became standard procedure to stop deportation trains from the Reich and Slovakia and Lublin in order to select able-bodied Jews for work in the general government, the others being sent on to their deaths in Belzec. In this way, many Jews were temporarily spared death and instead relegated to forced labor. Hermann Hofel was one of the chief supporters and implementers of this policy. Hofel personally oversaw the deportation of the Warsaw Ghetto, the so-called Gross Auction Warschau. The operation was preceded on 20 and July 21, 1942 by a spree of randomly killing actions along the streets of the ghetto and by the arrest and brutal imprisonment of many others taken as hostages among counselors, department managers and those connected in a way or another to the Judenrat. All this was to intimidate and soften the Judenrat to the new upcoming measures. The day after, in the morning of 22nd of July, Sturmbahnführer Hofel, accompanied by an entourage of SS and government officials, arrived at the Judenrat in the Warsaw Ghetto and announced to the chairman, Adam Zerniakow, that the Jews, regardless of sex or age and with but a few exceptions, were to be evacuated to the east. The exceptions were workers in German factories who had valid work permits, Judenrat employees, the Jewish Order Service, hospital patients and employees, and the families of the exempt. The deportees were allowed to carry with them 15 kilograms of baggage, food for three days, money, gold, and other valuables. The order also called for 6,000 Jews to report to the Umslag plots every day by 4 p.m. to board the trains for deportation. Adam Zerniakow wrote in his diary on July 22, 1942, 
Storm Bonferrer Hofel asked me into his office and informed me that for the time being my wife was free. But if the deportation were impeded in any way, she would be the first one to be shot as a hostage. From, Yitzhak Arad, Belzec, Sobibor, Treblinker Hofel also played a key role in the Harvest Festival massacre of Jewish inmates of the various labor camps in the Lublin district in early November 1943. Approximately 43,000 Jews were murdered during this operation which was the single largest German massacre of Jews in the entire war. Hofel rejoined Globochnik in Trieste, after various missions in the Netherlands and Belgium. Telegram from Hermann Hofel listing the number of deaths in the extermination camps during a 14-day period in 1942 and for the whole year 1942. Stands for Lublin slash Majdanek, for Belzec, for Sobibor and for Treblinka extermination camp. On January 11, 1943, Hofel sent a radiogram from Lublin to SS Obersturmbahnführer Franz Hyman Krakow, who was at the time the deputy commander of the security police and SD in the general government, and to SS Obersturmbahnführer Adolf Eichmann in Berlin. The message documented the total deportations of Jews to the four Operation Reinhard camps through 31 December 1942. Today this document is called the Hofel Telegram. On May 31, 1945 Hofel was found hiding in Muslikeralm near the Weissensee Lake in Carinthia by the British, along with SS stormtroopers Ernst Lurch and Georg Mikkelsen. After two years in the British interrogation centre Wolfsburg, he was released to the Austrian judicial system. On October 30, 1947, under oath, he was released to continue his earlier occupation as an auto mechanic in his birthplace, Salzburg. After an extradition request on July 9, 1948 by the Polish government, he fled to Italy, where he lived under a false name until 1951. Later he returned to Austria and then emigrated to the Federal Republic of Germany. There he was employed briefly as an informant for U.S. Army counterintelligence. Hofel returned to Salzburg, where he lived as a free man until January 2, 1961, when he was arrested by the Austrian authorities and sent to prison in Vienna where in 1962 he hanged himself before his trial could begin. Thanks for watching.